Welcome to another Minecraft tutorial and thank you for the positive feedback in the first video. This time I am showing you an arrow cannon which can fire many arrows at once. You've already seen it in the small preview and now I will build it. As you can see there are three different mechanisms. One for creating flying arrows, one for collecting these arrows and one for pushing these arrows into the air. At first we will build the dispenser rows and therefore you have to create some different layers. Place some blocks like this to set up the first row, then some more blocks here to set up the second row, and some blocks here to make the last row. One, two, three, and here, and dispensers up there. And you also need another row up here for wiring all dispensers. Um, you can do it. Uh, you can do it like this and like this. So put up the redstone wiring like this and here and also up there. Yep. Then you want these dispenser to fire permanently, and therefore you need a small clock. Place them like this, just a simple clock, and set them on two. Wire them here and here, and set the wiring to this. And for activating them, place a redstone torch and remove it quickly afterwards. Set, remove. And as you can hear, these dispensers are fire, uh, firing permanently now. But you want to turn it off and on, so you can do the following. Remove these two redstone here and replace one with a repeater. And put a sticky piston here with a block in front of it. Then wire the block to your lever. You can put it here or wherever you want. I'll place it here and when you turn the lever on also the dispensers are firing and when you turn it off it will stop firing. In the next step we will build the TNT and water system therefore you need to dig a hole which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks long. You can fill it with water but just on the first spot here and uh, fill it up with TNT. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't place your TNT here. And in the next step we will wire it with redstone. Just place the block here with the button and lead the redstone signal to the TNT like this. And just for testing I will press the button once. And let's see what's happening. Boom, nothing. Nothing is destroyed because of the water here. Then I will build the collector, the piston wall, and therefore you need to place some blocks here. Just like this, it's for the wiring. And be careful that it's always on the other side of the dispensers and also on the same level. And you will need also two layers here. And we can build it like uh, that. And like that. And uh, here has to be another row of stones, one, two, three. You can remove this, uh, these blocks and put some repeaters down there. And also up here and wire it with redstone. Leave the signal down here and uh, to there. And put some redstone torches on the front of these blocks. And on the front of these torches you can put the pistons just like this, also down here, and here, and here. And don't worry, they are also connected with the redstone torches up here, even though there is no redstone torch here. So when you have an incoming signal here, I place a torch here, these pistons will retract, and uh, so far for the collector. Whoa, the last scene took over 90 outtakes, I really need to improve my English skills. And at this point we just need to do one more thing. We need to make the delay between the pistons here and the exploding TNT here because when these pistons are retracting the arrows are falling down and while they are falling they should be pushed into the air and therefore we just need some repeaters here for the delay. We will activate this mechanism by pressing this button here. So the TNT is activated first and we need a delay of some seconds here for the pistons to get the right timing and therefore we need some repeaters here. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. And you should put the setting on three. One, two, three. And here, and here, and here, here, and here. And wire it with redstone. 
Before testing it, I have to say sorry because I forgot something. We need to set these repeaters here on the biggest delay too, and otherwise it won't work. So that's done now, and let's load it with TNT, 7 blocks. You can only put 7 blocks in here. And also load it with some arrows, I'm shooting with a bow. 3, 4, 5, 6. And then I'm pressing the button, and we'll see what happens. Wait a second. Boom. Perfect shot. And the distance is also very far. They are landing here and it's quite a good invention, I think. So far for testing and now I will shoot with the big guns. Therefore I'm activating this lever here and I filled the dispensers here with many arrows. I will wait a few seconds here. Uh, until these pistons are totally stuck with arrows. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 3, 2, 1, and stop. And uh, pressing the button here. Wait a second. And boom. And it will surprise any player that is walking here. It's perfect for impressing friends on multiplayer servers or scaring them. So thanks for watching this tutorial, it would be nice if you rate it. Normally I'm making videos in German, so it's very difficult for me to make them in English, but I'm here to improve my English skills more or less and I hope you liked it. See you in the next video, I will link the last tutorial now and goodbye. At first we will begin with the dispenser rows and therefore we need some different layers. Place some blocks like this and you have the first row here. Then build the second row, blocks here and dispensers up there. Not a torch, damn. In the next step we will wire this with redstone, just place a block here with a button. Fuck. 